Greetings, Keishlin, Keishin Prime here with a, another late night One Piece reaction. Uh, chapter 958, and good lord, this stuff does not, you can't even see it because the light's too bright. This stuff, freaking Walmart energy, water enhancer, don't give me freaking energy, I'm but <laughs> But whatever, we're moving on. We got the pug in case this chapter gets too real and I nearly hyperventilate. But uh anyway, uh chapter 958 The Promised Port. Hmm. Okay. Oh uh, look, it's Mr. Bang 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 with the Capone and Chiffon, and little baby Pez. Uh Gang Beige's Oh My Family Volume 8. So your sisters? Lola was just in dress rows a few days ago. The coincidence is not lost on me. Okay. He, he thought Chiffon was Lola last chapter, so that, that was kind of funny, but I guess he finally figured it out. Uh, let's see. Sailing on the calm sea. Not long before the start of the Great Pirate Era. Flashback? Is, is this going to be building up hype? Even more so than 9.57? Cuckoo! Wait. Whose ship is that? I... Oh, crap. That's the Oro Jackson. The hell? We've never... <laughs> ah, I see the egg. Also, this basically disproves all those theories. Well, actually, not long before the start of the Great... Well, yeah, that this would disprove all of that. Like, for years, people have been saying, Oh, the egg is Kaido, the egg is Kaido. And the egg is right there, and this is right before the Great Age of Pirates, which is, you know, after the whole last chapter story time. Um, I'm glad I joined you, Roger. Wait, who... Also, people have been saying Shecky might be Silver Axe, and I kind of support that idea, but then the one person I saw a theory on, Blue Pineapple, he kept saying that Rayleigh's epithet was Silver, which then that's the reason why they're like husband and wife now, and it's like, no, that's just his name. <laughs> he was Dark King. <laughs> uh. Good lord, all the theories that have been coming out in the last week, like the rocks in the rocks pirate stands for each of the big head, you know, members of the crew, which that's pretty awesome, uh, if true. I mean, it makes a lot of sense, but then the whole, uh, I, I, my brain's not working, sorry, um, but yeah, just a lot of theories. Let me know some of the theories you've been hearing. We can compare notes. Um, what's with all the sentimental crap, you softies? Why, why is Roger blushing? You're the ones who should be grateful, Odin. Oh, Odin. So this is when Odin joined the crew or something, right? So then um, we go and get to see Odin. Uh You've had too much booze, Roger. You need to learn some restraint. Ah, uh, there's our buddy, what's his name? I done forgot his name. It's Mr. Doctor on Reverse Mountain. Why? My brain. Come on, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> I'll think of it or see it eventually. Let's see. Shut up. But I need to hear that from the biggest drunk on this ship. And okay, well that that's interesting. Um, want me to lend a hand, <laughs> Odin? Uh, uh, it's great to see the members on Roger's crew and how they're interacting, and they're very similar to the Straw Hats, which I very much appreciate. It shows that Luffy was destined to become king of the pirates. You know, it's like. Y you live like a true dysfunctional family on a small wooden boat in the middle of a vast ocean. You're destined for greatness or destined for a water grave. I don't know. Um, let's see. 
So Rayleigh came in with that line. I'll help too, Odin's on. A happy buggy is a weird buggy. Um, <clears throat> and there's Shanks. Uh, you'll just get in the way, you idiot. Let me help instead, Odinson. Oh, we're still going to just get frick. Is it going to be revealed at like the end of the chapter? I'm thinking because we're still getting silhouette. Uh, Rayleigh, Red Taro, Red Taro. Oh, it's what he's calling Shanks. Buggy Jiro. I appreciate it, but this is an internal matter for the Kozuki clan. How many times do I have to tell you to stop calling me Jiro? So Buggy don't like the add-on names. Uh, I never understood why. Wano had to close its borders to the outside world. And a little editor's note here. Oh, by the way, this is on uh, Jimini's box. Sorry, I'm like I said, I'm out of it. Um, let's see. Common Japanese male names, endings, typically Taro, first son, and Jiro. Oh, oh yeah. I remember the Jiro thing from Toriko. Um, I mean, second son. Uh, let's see. Seeking to become Shogun after thoughtlessly abandoning my homeland. I will definitely make, uh, what I have envisioned a reality. Oh, I didn't scroll down far enough. Maybe selfish of me, but, and then is the vision he wants to make a reality. Um, I'm certain that with the aid of my... Uh, reliable retainers. I will be able to open Wano's borders. We shall oversee the fruitation of this 20-year dream. You can do it, Odin. I will, Roger. And so, and so into the present. And the drums are drumming. 25 years have passed since that day. Oh, okay, so we're not in the present. Never mind. Wano country. <gasps> Starting of the third act. Uh, we got bang, bang. <clears throat> the curtain rises. Uh, we move to Hakame, Port Habu. Okay, so I forget. Um, Habu was originally the first port they were going to use, but they're going to Tokage. But actually, this is probably more likely that that's not because. The opposition found out, and now we're going to go with the goofiness. That is me. Um, but anyway. Uh, so, yeah. You got everyone. What looks like a freaking river queen riverboat. <laughs> Looking kind of deal. Oh, there's Orochi the punk. Oh, yeah. Uh, another thing I forget because I'm, I'm not good. Um... The uh, my other reactions will probably be up in the morning. Sometime I have things to do, but um, also I did a One Piece theory about the Toki Toki no Mi. Go check it out. Um, but yeah, uh, the weather is splendid today. This must be a good omen for the gods. Muhahaha. Oh yeah, this is the day of the festival. That's why they're all loading up. Uh, what a perfect day for a banquet. Rochi, close your damn mouth. I don't like to see buck teeth. They're weird. Um. Let's see here. Orochi, or Lord Orochi deserves it. He don't deserve crap. Kyoshiro will be looking over the capital in our absence. Uh, let everyone know. Oh, okay. That's interesting and not feel like it's going to bite them in the butt. Because <laughs> I, I, I feel like that he, if he turns out to be Dinjiro, like a lot of people have been saying for basically as long as we found out who Dinjiro was and everything, that him being in command of the capital when, you know, the whole, like, when the cats are away, the mice will play kind of deal. Well, what if that's, you know, he riles up, like, the even more of the un or the um the underworld and the regular citizens and all the brothels and you know all this stuff and then it just like this massive force where while the citizens may not be strong individually they may be strong enough in numbers be it that wouldn't be the best strategy but hey if you want to protect your home sometimes you you raise arms even when 
you can't logically should be doing it but you know <clears throat> but uh anyway also i'm thinking of the um that futurama song with the the line of uh, do what you love even if it's not a good idea um yes sir how unlucky for him we cannot participate in the banquet now uh, this is the largest po and those are some of his lackeys um this is the largest port in Wano. this is surrounded by huge sea walls and lined with beautiful maple trees and did Japan ever have maple trees like naturally like they brought like like in Washington we have like the soccer tree festival or soccer blossom festival or whatever it's called and it's like a thing every year and I, maybe they did the same thing like for the <clears throat> maybe that's actually why they chose this for the f fire festival because like it'll look like embers when the leaves are blowing around that'd be kind of cool symbolism um let's see shogun orochi please have a safe journey take care bright red leaves dance in the wind bidding farewell to the ships okay so you got like a seven or so ship armada moving to the onigashima for the festival Bring the booze. Let us make a toast to the uh, maple trees. Lord Orochi, you should wait until we meet with Lord Kaido. There is no need. He has probably started drinking himself. It's, it's possible. He does have a strong drinking habit. A banquet for 40,000 this year is to be a delight like always. Once a year in Onigashima. The two supreme leaders who rule over Wano meet face to face and hold a huge banquet for their armies. Okay, so that... Wait, how many was in the... I guess it really doesn't matter how many ships are actually there. Um, let's see. Meanwhile, at the flower capital... Okay, you got this one to... Drink and sing to your heart's content. Today is the capital's fire festival. Uh, today is the only day we are allowed alcohol. Bring all your drinks with you. Come and buy some candy apples. Oh, I haven't had a caramel or candy apple, and I couldn't tell you that one. Um, come on. Hurry now. Wait, who? I think that's one of the girls that we saw when Frankie was, like, trying to track down the the plans to the mansion. I think. I could be wrong. I'm just thinking that. It's starting. Wait, my hair's not staying in place. Well, let's dance. Okay, another Shamusen and Maracas? Eh, but clear skies. Seems like we'll be able to see a beautiful full moon tonight. Oh, oh the minx will play. Uh, <coughs> um, <coughs> also, considering that it has only been like two weeks or so... Three month tops since the last full moon. That basically confirms yes, One Piece ha in the world has more than one moon because their or their planet is significantly smaller than ours. So the moon takes not as long to rotate or orbit around or whatever. I don't know. I'm my brain's not working. People, science isn't my thing. I'm not part of the. What is it called again? The SSG. Uh, but anyway. Uh, so. And apparently something disconnected. Okay. Um, let's see here. In one of the seasons can vary greatly. Or very vastly depending on the region. And the weather is no exception. This means that the climate can be extremely unpredictable. So it's like a miniature new world. Okay. Wano Country, Udon, Port Takage, at the rendezvous point for the final battle. Weird how the, like, Orochi kind of, or did Orochi only figure out that it was at Habu? Because I'm starting to forget. 
Oh, Lord. Okay, that weather turned up fierce. We got the scabbards here. Wait, who's in the armor? Kenimon, this is impossible. We should change the date, Kenimon. And Kenimon's just like, I'm going to samurai jack our way over there. Uh, not a single ship in sight. So that damn cat didn't make it in time. We were definitely... Oh, it's Okiku that's in the samurai armor. Okay. Um, let's see. We were definitely able to secure Udon. But none of the soldiers we recruited from the prison mine are here either. Where are our 4,000 soldiers then? This port looks like it may have been attacked. Uh, maybe. Morbid things just got horribly carried away because of the weather. The smell hasn't, or has not rung. And we cannot contact anyone. At twilight of the day of the fire festival at Port Takage, this is the promised port. Okay, so that's what their title drop. Um, so why is no one here? I mean, those are some turbulent waters. Like, I, I don't, and they're very much in that same style of painting, you know, with the big wave and stuff. So, I, I like that. Um, I thought it was only going to be, like, the waters around Wano. But no, it's right here as well. You know, so that that's cool. Uh, so why is no one here? Where did they all go? Mm. Uh, it has only been one day. What happened here? Can Frankie tell the tales? They're carrying something. Heave ho, heave ho, heave ho. Uh, Luffy Dono, where are you? Uh, Hyoguro Dono, please respond. Musketeers? La Dono? Jibo Ima? What? <laughs> Who's that? That's a new name. Um, anyone, we are the retainers of Kozuki Odin. After 20 year, or twenty long years, we have come to uh, avenge our master. We were supposed to have been burnt to ashes, but we still came. We cannot do this alone. Our enemy is over 40,000 troops. We need your assistance. Please, I beg. That is enough, Kinemon. Okay. Yeah. It's it it looking kind of bad, guys. It looking kind of bad. Um, uh, shooting Maru is the one that says that's enough, Kitty Monas. Things went belly up, just like all the fish in all the rivers. Shinobu's crying. I mean, the Momo, I'm surprised, hasn't already broken out. Um, in tears. Look at the sky and see in front of us. Even the heavens have turned their backs on us. No one will come. What happened to them? Hmm. I'm wondering. <coughs> like, which port were they building, rebuilding the ships? Because I'm confused. Uh, but anyway, something must have happened to them. There is no other explanation. Wait, what? We're already finished and probably on page 14. <laughs> um, and one piece is on break. Of course it is. Um, there's a small boat here, though. It looks usable. Hmm. What are you doing, Inarashi? Stop this foolishness at once. Oh, so th oh wait, it was Inarashi that went over to the boat. Oh, they're heading to Onigashima. Oh, the tiny dinghy. Uh, or at least they're going to try. At least, you know, Rashi thinks so. Onigashima. Last night. What? An incident occurred. Oh. And is that, it has a close-up of uh, Orochi's face. I'm wondering... Something happened to him, but he left. But, like, 
this is on the day of it, so he should already be there, correct? But it's saying last night. What exactly did Orochi scheme up? Hmm. Oh, so says the dialogue. Okay, pretty short chapter, but you know, Oda's been popping out them bangers week after week for about a month now. A break is well earned. This one may be not super hype or whatever, other than that first portion, of course. Um, let's see. Well, yeah, my brain. Um, I, I can't quite figure out what would have happened to the ships, so I guess we'll figure it out in the next chapter. Because it, it's kind of ending at that Orochi obviously had a big hand in that, you know, because, like, he deciphered the, the message, which... <clears throat> mm. of them changing from Habu to Tokage and so that so they knew where to go to ambush them or he moved them hmm Frinky wouldn't have gone down with a fight he's not gonna let a ship get ruined especially when he just rebuilt so, so, something quirky is afoot here. Um, sneaky snake. Roachy bastard. Um, but yeah, that, that bit at the beginning was obviously the, the hypest bit of the chapter, of course. I mean, you know. Um, you know, getting to see Roger's crew interact with the, amongst themselves, that's something... I don't think we've ever really seen apart from like you know Rayleigh maybe talking to Roger in a flashback or flashbacks of Shanks and Buggy you know interacting a little bit but that's about it I mean I think we might have seen like them talk you know Shanks and Buggy talk to like a, a random crew member but like they were never named we don't know who they are and who the hell is the old doctor? Why can't I remember his name? Which, wait. I can't remember his name, but I remember he wasn't a part of the crew for very long. And he was already on the boat. And this is this was before the Age of Pirates. Which was after Roger's death. So this is, yeah, this isn't long before he dies. That's sad. More reason why he was probably worried about him, you know, drinking too much, you know, it might worsen whatever condition he had. Makes sense. Hmm. But yeah, I just... <coughs> but yeah, the, that interaction was cool. Sad we still didn't get to see Odin. That, that's going to be quite the thing that's going to be revealed. I'm betting. I'm starting to wonder, he's going to look like somebody, and I hope it's not who I think it's going to be. It's going to be freaking Orochi, and then we're going to find out they're brothers or something, right? That, like, maybe that's the reason why Orochi betrayed him, because, like, maybe he was a bastard child or something, I don't know. <coughs> Is that... You know, that, that there has to be some reason. Because, like, why would you hide Odin's face? There there has to be something going on. Or he looks like somebody else. But he has to resemble somebody that we're aware of or have seen before. Otherwise, there's no point in obscuring his face for this long. You know? Um... But yeah, I think that's enough of my late night ramblings. Um, like I said, I'll I'll probably have the other reactions probably in the morning sometime when I get a chance. Uh, we're still doing repairs on the kitchen. It's almost done. We just have to install the sink and a few minor things. But once we get the sink in, basically the kitchen is functional again. The bathroom, the f sub floor has been laid, but we still have to do a lot of work in there so <coughs> but yeah and uh yeah that okay chapter i mean it like i said the the good part was the beginning it 
kind of tapers off like oh situation's bad which kind of figured things were going pretty damn smoothly you know but got to find out what Orochi's scheming why Odin is still obscured may never know may just be Oda just not wanting to show his face yet probably there has to be a reason but whatever anyway like I said rambling too much um but yeah let me know your thoughts and opinions and like I mentioned before like any like theories from the last chapter or whatever that like were interesting that you heard or maybe theories you came up with stuff like that I, I, I'm interested to hear um but yeah uh, I try to stream three days a week Tuesdays Thursdays Saturdays upload them to YouTube obviously because of things with the recon modeling and reconstruction I haven't had time and same thing goes for the manga podcast we try to do it once a week but same issue um I do that with Griever go check out his channel um but yeah Whew. but I <laughs> thank you for watching like comment and subscribe links to all my social medias and stuff down below and until next time Keishlings roll out